welcome everyone. We are here uh, to talk about our 2022 UMAC Scholar Athlete Leadership Award. Uh, we are here with our male winner for the year, Dante Bender from the University of Wisconsin Superior. Uh, as you know, the Scholar Athlete Leadership Award is the top UMAC honor that is selected by the Faculty Athletic Representative Council. Um, each institution has uh, one finalist, so Dante is the winner out of eight uh, male finalists, but also those are the top individuals from all of our institutions for graduating uh, student athletes. So we're excited to be here with him today. Uh, this award focuses on achievement in athletics, academics, service, and leadership. So we're gonna learn a little bit about his involvement in all of those areas. Um, just a little bit about him before we get started. He is a psychology and exercise science double major and um, an academic all-conference and dean's list student throughout his time uh, as a member of the baseball program at Superior. Uh, he's also a member of the athletics DEI committee. Um, he's worked on various research projects within his academic field um, and has participated in numerous service projects in athletics and through service learning uh, through academics. So we're gonna learn a little bit more about him. Uh, Dante, welcome and congratulations on your award. Thank you. All right, let's get started. Uh, what does it mean to you to be chosen among the UMAC senior student athletes uh, for the Scholar Athlete Leadership Award? Um, first off, it's just really exciting. Um, it's just a really big honor, which is pretty awesome. Um, what it means to me is that throughout my time at UWS, my hard work had an impact on others and you know, people noticed. And one thing that I wouldn't say is like, it doesn't mean like no matter what throughout my hard work like all my hard work wasn't trying to get this award so I wouldn't say that like my hard work paid off I just did the hard work and you know showed showed others what I could do and it wasn't wasn't trying to win this award it was just it's just a nice honor to have yeah I think I've over the years that I've been doing this I've learned that it's it's never about you it's always about serving other people and this just happens to be a nice way to be recognized so Mm -hmm. uh, congratulations on that. Um, and the biggest part of this award is leadership. And the uh, nomination form talks about many ways in which you're a leader within baseball, but also uh, within the community at Superior. So um, in what ways do you feel like you best display leadership uh, on your campus and in the community? Um, I think the most important part I did was through academics, doing my service learning around the community. Uh, I've worked with elementary students in Superior, elementary students in Duluth, um, work with like elderly people in Superior at some of the different facilities and helping them. Um, just doing our, like our, our UWS week of giving, uh, going out and collecting cans for the food bank, um, ringing the bells for Salvation Army, that's always a fun one. And then um, just on campus, just for my teammates, just being, being somebody who they can come to and talk to and just being someone as a role being a role model for most of my teammates i think that's the most important part too is just showing somebody like you know showing somebody how hard work how to, how to do hard work and what it means to be uh, a student athlete sure i think that that's something that all of our award recipients do and mention is doing that hard work and setting an example for others but again like you said earlier that's not your intention, it's just how you are. And I think mm -hmm. it comes through in leadership and service opportunities as well. So um, thank you for sharing that. And now kind of switching to athletics just a little bit because it's a huge part of this award and what you do. What would you say is your greatest memory as a student athlete as at your institution? Um, I think one really, uh, really fun part about being a student athlete is different travel and trips you get to go on. Um, this year, finally, because of COVID stuff, we finally were able to go back to uh, Florida for our spring trip, and that's always a really good experience. And then just from the student athlete side of it is just meeting all the different people. I mean, I've met people from however many different countries through not just my team, but like on different teams too. Uh, and I think that's always important, just like the different people you meet. You meet so many people from different backgrounds, different cultures, and you make friends for life. Yeah, I think that's something that's a common theme too, is many of our recipients are beyond their own team, just involved in athletics as a whole. And I think that is really helpful in kind of building a foundation uh, for the future. 
um, maybe talk a little bit about your favorite service opportunity. You mentioned a couple of them and you've got a long list of things that you've done during your time and um, but maybe one that sticks out and why it was really impactful for you. Yeah, um, I, I did a service learning uh, cl- or academic service learning through one of my psychology classes where we went and worked with elementary students at one of the elementary schools in Duluth. And uh, it was, the organization was men as peacemakers. And we just met with the kids after school and just taught them ways on how to be, uh, how to grow as humans, like teach, teaching them like respect and manners and that kind of stuff. And I think even though I maybe wasn't there every day after school, you know, I only had, was there a couple hours a week. I think that made even just a little bit of time I spent with them probably made an impact on them and hopefully helped them grow as people. That's a really cool project as a new parent. I give you a lot of credit for spending <laughs> time out of your college life to be around children. They are a challenge and um, they're, we're all grateful for people like you who want to spend time with them. So that's really a really neat experience. Um, what do you think you will take away most from your experience as a student athlete as you kind of move on to the next stage of your life? Um, I think persistence and the ability to overcome failure, uh, being not only just a student, but a student athlete. I mean, you get both sides. You, you, fa- you fail tests or you get a bad grade or you, you fail on the field, you maybe get injured. And I think the most important part of being an athlete is overcoming that and you know, battling back. I think that's the number one thing that I'll take through life is just the persistence and the ability to not, not bend over and fall. That's a really good thing to keep with you. And I think your generation has the added layer of getting through the challenges of COVID. And I think as we all navigate the world moving forward, I think it's going to be something that'll help you immensely as you kind of get into the job field. Mm-hmm. So with that, what it, what's kind of next for you after graduation and baseball's over? What, it, what are your plans for um, kind of the next stage? Yeah, so after I graduate, I plan on uh, sticking around UWS and uh, going to a graduate school to be a clinical mental health counselor. Um, uh, as a double major, I was, I was only an exercise science major for a while and kind of had like a midlife crisis my junior year and decided uh, I actually want to do psychology just kind of switched it up and decided I want to do counseling um I think it's just one way to stay in the stay and help people uh deal with their struggles as all of us have gone through our struggles I think it's important to share the share what our experiences and help others through it and then uh with that exercise science background too possibly down the road it would be nice to become like a, a sports psychologist and help college students I know there's a lot of pressures on us as college student athletes and it would be nice to be able to help somebody through those struggles. Yeah, I think if COVID has taught us anything, mental health is really important. So I think that's really awesome that you're looking at using those experiences to kind of help other people, which is indicative of why you are a recipient of this award. So just wanted to say thank you again for joining us and giving us an opportunity to learn a little bit more about you and congratulations. Thank you.